So a huge amount of emotion floating around English rugby, as there should be in the build-up to the Aussie game, a game that I genuinely believe we can win, but only if we learn the lessons from the Welsh game. And there are a lot of lessons to be learned. And in order to do that, we've got to be honest with ourselves and got to be brutal. Now, I know some of the coaches feel that if you criticise, you're not a supporter. I don't believe that. I don't believe going, rah, rah, England, with your eyes closed, means you're a great English supporter. Uh, and I think the players and coaches have got to be honest with each other. Now, I know Richard Wigglesworth has said, what the hell do I know about rugby? He's got a point. I'm an old fart. But one of the things that we did do was invest a huge amount of time and effort and emotion in, in learning the lessons that we got wrong. And we got a lot wrong against Wales. Therefore, the, the players and the coaches have got to be really brutally honest with each other. Um, because that is how you get a team to be successful. Not ignoring serious issues. If they can do that early in the week, then we get more and more positive and more and more focused on Australia and start thinking about all the things that went right against Wales and a huge amount did go right, uh, I think we're in a strong position. If we ignore the faults, ignore went wrong, what went wrong, we will be very vulnerable. So I'm hoping some honest, brutal conversations in the England camp early in the week, then a focus on Australia and reminding ourselves how good some of these players are, some of the great rugby they have played. If we do that, I think we will witness a great performance against Australia and a great win.